Underwater volcanoes by the thousands, possibly millions, remain undiscovered. Of course, because we don't know what's going on under the water. The world is watching one volcano. Well, not one, but many actually. But uh, it's sobering to think that there are hundreds of others going off. And almost uh, certainly ones we don't even know about. The article uh, concerning a Bali volcano making a, a warmer or cooler. Joseph Jasper, William Jasper, reminded uh, of me of Ian Plyer, Plymer's words about there being squillions of undersea volcanoes. So I found the 2007 paper by Hillier that tried to count them. Trying being the appropriate word. Volcanoes are the biggest thing, but when they're under one or two kilometers of water, they're hard to hear and hard to see. And by Cricky, we know more about the moon than the bottom of the Mariana Trench, and it's only 11 kilometers away. Now, people are constantly discovering new volcanoes, like a 3,000 meter one, 10,000 feet off uh, the volcano off, the Indo off Indonesia that no one realized was there until 2010. It turns out that the second largest volcano in the solar system is apparently not on Io, but a thousand miles off east of Japan. It's the size of the British Isles. But to who knew this? A few months ago, a team of, uh, found 91 volcano, new volcanoes under Antarctica, and uh, the, the total there is about 147 now. This is getting serious. Someone should talk to the Minister of Lava. That's, of course... Uh, a geological joke. Not only can we not predict when volcanoes will erupt, we don't even know how many there are on Earth. The scope of our ignorance on the seafloor is really something. There are about 1,500 active volcanoes on land, but on the seafloor we're still discovering them all the time. At least 39,000 of them rise one kilometer off the seafloor, but there are suspicions there might be up to three million. Holy moly! The Hillier's paper estimates about 24,000 submarine volcanoes were not yet discovered in 2007. Wikipedia is trying to list them. Well, good luck. Does hot magma leaking into the oceans that we have not measured and don't know about change the currents? Well, obviously it can. It's a matter of physics. The temperature and eventually our weather. If it's a bit hotter at one end of the trench than the others, does that water flow alter? Has a big ball of magma got anything to do with the Enso Ammo long period, long term trends? Your guess is better than global climate model. So the closest thing we have to a map, the um, we don't. I don't think there's any chance that these volcanoes in the uh, Pacific Ring of Fire will be warming the world. But undersea volcanoes are releasing a lot of greenhouse gases. So time to tax them. According to William Jasper, many of the undersea volcanoes are, we call them seamounts, are regularly oozing molten lava, as well as uh, CO2, methane, and other volcanic gases. In addition, there are untold thousands, perhaps millions, of undersea vents that are regularly discharging gases, oil, and tar. Last year, researchers found hundreds of new vents along the west coast, of the United States, the methane um, seamounts, but we also have them on the East Coast. Um, the, uh, uh, okay, the West Coast of the United States, scientists found 500 seabed vents bubbling methane into the Pacific Ocean off the United States, roughly doubling the number of known U.S. seeps of the powerful greenhouse gas. This is according to an October 19, 2016 Reuters story. Methane naturally escapes from the seafloor in many places around the world and can stoke global warming if it reaches the atmosphere, according to Reuters. Worldwide, scientists are trying to see if rising ocean temperatures cause more leaks. It appears that the entire coast off Washington, Oregon, and California is a giant methane seep. Robert Ballard, who is famed for finding the wreck of the Titanic and has now discovered the 500 new seeps, said in a statement, the discoveries double to about a thousand the number of such vents now known to exist along the continental margins of the United States, he said. Supervolcanoes might happen more often than we thought. As it happens, the new study came out showing the next big one may be sooner than we think, though we have no idea when, but we used to think there were maybe 45,000, 700,000 years apart, 
But now some new researchers think the new big best guess is somewhere from 5,000 to 48,000 years apart. If the big one goes off, forget carbon, forget climate, forget the whole continent. Jonathan Reuter, professor of statistical science, said the best guess value is 17,000 years. According to geological records, the two most recent super eruptions were between 20 and 30,000 years ago. The good professor is careful to keep political correct priorities in order. On that basis, Professor Ruger says there's little need to plan now for a super eruption, especially when many other pressing issues to address which will affect the current and the next generation of humans. Nothing to see here. But if you like, you can check the volcano map. Abstracts, Hillier 2007. This is from Geophysical Research Letters, and uh, it's unbended reality. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.